What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be doing a product unboxing slash product review. A little bit something different because this is a pre-constructed deck. And the thing we're going to be talking about right now is this Ultra Necrozma, what is it called? Battle Arena decks. Uh, it's the first time I've ever reviewed because, to be honest, mo almost always they're not very good but this one is an exception there is some very good value in this deck and i definitely highly recommend you get in you pick up at least one of them especially if you have any interest in playing competitively and you don't have all the cards you need uh and we'll kind of go through why that is and uh but yeah let's just take a quick look at the box as far as what comes inside we won't go through the cards uh, but it does have two foils including ultra necrozma foil beast energy Honestly, don't even remember what Peace Energy does, but I don't think it's that good. And then it does have a lot of very useful trainers, but those are never that hard to acquire, to be honest. And they're not that expensive. It does have a player mat. I'm not sure about that. We'll take a look, but not, hopes are not that high. It doesn't have a real mat in here. And uh, stuff like that. So let's get into the opening. All right, I just cracked the box. And I must say, especially after opening those Hidden Fates Pokeball collections, uh, still... You know, there's not a lot in here, and it is a lot. Of, the box is pretty big, but at least it's not nearly as egregious as those Pokeball collections. It's interesting that the, all the ones I bought, like this second Necrozma, is upside down. Uh, outside of that, you know, nothing too impressive, like these paper counter GX Flipper. Not that these are important to begin with, whether they're plastic, cardboard, or like that metal stuff. I don't think this is anything. If anything, this just oh, it's about the little information about the. Rayquaza one as well If you can only get one to be honest I do think it would be kind of fun just to get both and face each other with these pre-constructed decks But if you can only get one definitely the Necrozma one is leaps and bounds better in my opinion And let's take a look. We do have a very cool deck box these things obviously the cards are already inside So they don't really support sleeves as far as coins go. That's pretty good Although the bar is not very high for coins and I'm just going to quickly sleeve up these cards and let's take a quick look. I'm excited to have this card because I am considering trying to figure out how I can make it work with the Mewtwo deck. The only thing is the prominent Mewtwo decks, the most prominent ones, kind of run very few psychic energies. And uh, you do need something special for that metal energy, so it's not exactly easy to pull off. But discard all basic psychic energies. From this Pokemon to attack, 80 this attack does 80 more damage for each one. So for not that many energy, you can do a lot of damage. And then Sky Scorching, Sky Scorching Light GX. You can use this attack. Sorry. You can use this attack only if this both played remaining prize cards six or less. Plus, wait, what? Oh, both players remaining prize cards six or less. Uh, put six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Hmm, I'm not sure when that could be. There's probably a time and place for that, but I couldn't, can't really put my finger on it. 60 damage, is that perfect number for anything? I don't think so. And Beast Energy, I don't think Beast Energy is that good. Uh, provides a colorless, when you attach it to Ultra Beast, it comes from every, every type of energy, only one energy at a time. Ooh, although 30 more damage for that. So actually, no, that's pretty good. And maybe that's how you accommodate that metal energy for Ultra Necrozma. That's probably the most uh, applicable, or at least definitely in this deck. And let's take a look through the cards that this deck comes with. This box is pretty cool, but again, since it doesn't really support sleeves, it's not something that I will be using. And I'm guessing these are the good ones. So we kind of have a lot of staples. Oh, but here we go, right here. Jirachi, we'll put this off to the side. Oh, this is like very random order. It's kind of like shuffled already. Uh, Viridian Forest, very good card, switch kind of a staple, but you know, both of these, if you needed to pick them up in a pinch, you probably could get them for very cheap. Malamar, very good card, we'll put this off the side. Cynthia staple, okay, Sightseer is not bad. Giratina, nice. I don't think Bayonet's that good. Mysterious Treasure, very useful card. All the supporters are good, but you know, nothing, nothing too hard to acquire. Erica, nice. Another Viridian Forest, Giratina, nice, put this off to the side. Steer's Treasure, good. Skateboard, good, and another Malamar. So what are these ones over here? These ones were facing a different direction, essentially. Ah, okay, these are the six. Whoa! That's a really cool foil pattern. 
Um, you know what? I can't remember if Dragon Ma- I'm pretty sure Dragon Majesty's reverses were not this cool. And, wow, that's- I really like that. Like, to be honest, I'm like, oh man, why, why aren't the ones in Hidden- Ooh, that's kind of off-center. Why aren't the Dragon Majesty reverses and the Hidden Fates like this? Because these look much better, in my opinion. So very minor, like, wow, another very miscut one. At least I'm not the type to spend too much extra to swag out energies, but it is cool. And so these are the money cards. We have two Jirachis, two Malamar, two Giratina. Ah, this Giratina, oh, three Malamars. I, I very much despise facing this Giratina in PDCGO. It doesn't matter what I'm playing, it's just so annoying. Once during your turn, if this, this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's Pokemon. So among other things, one thing that this kind of pairs well, actually it's interesting that these have the original, so they're not like promos or they don't have a special listing for the deck. But uh, putting a damage counter on your opponent's bench Pokemon can be useful. Uh, Giratina Garchomp comes to mind, even though that's not the most uh, strongest Pokemon right now. In fact, I think he's kind of a letdown compared to when people, when the first set first, the set first came out. Shadow Impact for two Psychic, one Colorless. It's not that strong, 130, but put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon. You, usually they just put it on him. So the idea is you compare it with balanced, uh, pair them up with Malmar. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may attach a Psychic Energy from Discard Pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So you have a bunch of these on your bench, and then the Giratinas. Whenever they knock out Giratina, that's okay, it's only one prize card. Distortion Door, drop a couple counters, and then use Malamar to be able to Shadow Impact again right away. So these numbers are actually very useful. Let's take Reshizard or any Pokemon that has Tag Team that has 270. You put two Shadow Impacts that's just short, but with the Distortion Door, you can get to that 270 relatively easily, or assuming they don't like heal up. So that's what makes this Giratina very dangerous. And again, for when you're racing like Giratinas against tag teams, you're in a good situation if you're the Giratina, just because you only need to knock two of them out versus they need to knock Giratina out six times. And you know, even if they take out your Malamars, there's enough stuff like. Um, Wait, no, this isn't a Ultra Beast, but there's plenty of ways to get out a bunch of them, and even, you know, it's not that hard to get multiple of them out. And then they usually pair it with Jirachi as well, so like this is almost like a complete deck in itself. Jirachi, this is the big money card in my opinion, it is a non-holo, but uh, Stellar Wish, once in your turn, before you attack, you have this Pokemon as your active Pokemon, so it doesn't need to be in your active, you look at the five cards, uh, and you reveal a trainer card and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck, your Pokemon is now asleep, forget about its attack, doesn't have an attack. But, you know, you combine it with... Sorry for all the extra noise, but I'm looking for a very specific card. Maybe this deck doesn't... Uh, I think I saw at least one. Alright, a skateboard. Pairs up with this thing very nicely. Retreat cost of this Pokemon is one less. This guy has one retreat cost, turns it into a zero, and more importantly, can retreat even if it's asleep. Therefore, Let's say you have two Jirachis, one on your bench, one on your active. You goes to sleep. Maybe he finds that skateboard, puts the slaps on there. Switch to this one, and then you use like a switch or something. If if you have a switch, you go to your other Jirachi. You do another search. Basically, you keep pulling your trainers out of your deck, um, and then eventually you just put in your whatever your Giratina or whatever. So very strong engine. And now on to why like this deck, this box, this this new product is so good. I just checked TCG Player, and so sites like Troll and Toad and or wherever you might like, maybe eBay. Uh, Troll and Toad will be slightly more than TCG Player. eBay might be slightly less. But these Jirachis, if you buy them single, they're like ten dollars. This box, I believe MSRP is for twenty dollars, and it has two of them. So. <laughs> If, if you just sold these two cards at like the going rate on TCG player, you make your money back and then everything else is essentially free. That's absurd. And then, you know, and this is the non hall version. Like the reason this card is so good, like so that, or has so much value, the team up version, the hollow version, 
they're going for like twenty dollars that's how useful this card is and to be honest i feel like this dropped off slightly during uh team up phase when it was just like Pikaram and zapdos decks like these guys are worth even more so uh in all in all that's why this deck is very good i'm very surprised very impressed with these energies but then these cards you know just so much value uh, if you are looking to play IRL, I feel like this is a very good starting point. You have a lot of these supporters and trainers that you need, and this is basically uh, more than halfway through to a, in my opinion, competitive deck. So, um, yeah, that's our first review of a product just because this is the first one that's, you know, in my opinion, actually worth it, or, you know, just maybe just leaps and bounds better than the other ones. We don't have a Rayquaza one, but if we do manage to pick one up, we will do a review of that as well. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this series. Do you, would you like to see more of this kind of video in the future? Uh, let me know in a comment or just by hitting that like button kind of lets me know that you did enjoy the content. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.